we will get started. Be sure and send us your ideas, what you like, what you don't like. Tell your friends, family. We hope to build this and spread it out. We're going to start in a pose called Balasana today. This is the child's pose. So you on the earth like Kyle here. Gentle curve of the spine, arms back. And it's a pose of relaxation, pose of rejuvenation. We're in a world that's very fast paced. We just go, go, go. We don't take time to rejuvenate. In fact, many people can't turn their mind, or I should say open their mind enough to regenerate internally. We're very attached to the external. In fact, we as human beings are getting to the point that we think we're more what we look like, what our bicep muscle looks like, than who we are from the inside out our spirit so yoga is a union it's about bringing it all together and nourishing ourselves now at home if you can't set back like Kyle is this is big flexibility in the ankles the knees the hips if you've had injury you may set up a little maybe even all the way up here like me or possibly here or you can stick a pad a bolster a blanket between or maybe you're in this position there's always ways to modify. That's part of the teachings of yoga. There's modifications in all of life. So don't be an all or nothing person. Do what you can and progress a little bit at a time. So we tune into breath. Deep, smooth, flowing breath in through the nostrils. Maybe there's a little pause. Same flowing breath out through the nostrils. And that little pause of transition and that's going to be the breath that guides our practice full breath the breath of life the diaphragmatic breathing belly breathing yogic breathing many names what's important is to breathe fully now this will guide our practice even when we're challenged we don't go to short huff puff breath we breathe fully Maybe you want to set an intention for this 30 minutes or the rest of this day or weekend. And then let that just flow as we practice. Now remember, breath guides movement. So the movements are at the pace of the inhalation, the little pause, and then at the pace of the exhalation. So we're not rushing, using gravity, momentum to move us. We're moving our body. And we want to invite every cell of this human body to participate. Not just the big moving muscles. We'll get them in other exercises. This is union time. Now imagine yourself in a cocoon. You're a caterpillar, been making your way through life. You found this time of transition and you cocooned. You went into this safety shell. And now it's time to come out and see who you are and more importantly to be who you are so this is transformation we call this emerging butterfly as you inhale begin to lift your body and let your arms become your wings at the pace of that full inhalation then we pause and then on the exhalation we float back down to the cocoon smooth journey here's safety this is everything we've ever known and then on the inhalation here's today the present the action floating up to pause to see this glory of life on the exhalation smooth back down continue that with your breath try not to speed up we want to break the habit of rushing through everything in life and remember just like butterflies we've got all kinds of glorious colors here we're not just black and white we're all shades of every color and we're the blend of them and remember your pause let's go two more times smooth inhale maybe you can hear my breath and pause there then inhale come up to hands and knees table pose so here we align the skeletal system heel of the hand under the shoulder 
knee under the hip. We align in balance. Movement called cat and cow. As you exhale, tuck the chin and round the spine up to a cat pose. We pause there. And then on the inhale, reverse that. Belly button toward the floor. You can lift your chin. That's optional. Continue with your breath. Feel the flow of mobility and remember the pause. Don't just rush to the actions. Much of the benefit of the action in all of life gets skipped because we're hurrying off to the next action. It's kind of like going on vacation, jumping on the airplane, flying there, get out at the airport and rush back on the plane and hurry home just so you can say you've been there, you've done it. That pause is sometimes the benefit of doing it. One more time each way. Remember your quality. Don't start to move quickly. Flow with grace. And then balance again. Table pose. Now bring your knees out. Bring your big toes to touch each other behind you. Now be mindful if you've had injuries, hips, knees, ankles, back go the hips. See if you can come to forearms. Pause here several breaths. Now just this change of positioning of the body, the blood flow shifts, the fluid flow shift. If it works for you, a little lower you go. Walk your arms forward. Go to tiger paw. Fingertips, thumb tips. Maybe your forehead touches the earth. Feel your breath. Weight of the body is back. Huge hip opener. And then active, we're stretching through the shoulders out to those fingertips. We're connecting to earth here. We're flowing with the whole universe, the sky, the heavens as we breathe. Full connection to life. Now inhale, shift your body weight forward to your forearms. Go to the flat palms. Arms will be about shoulder width apart. Now shift a little more weight there. So now we start to hold the weight of the body with our forearms. Bring your right foot back, toes curled under or to your knee, and then the left. And then make any little adjustments. Your body will tell you where to go. And it may be different than Kyle and I. Try not to be lifted up here or hanging down, yet it's okay to let the hips touch a little bit, that pelvic, if you need to. Otherwise, it's a strength pose, not a tension pose. So we're not holding like this. We're breathing. Now inhale, lift your hips, walk your feet forward. Look back to your toes. Now we've shifted this into an inversion. Similar to downward dog, but we're on our forearms. Takes a lot of core strength to lift up here. And then flexibility in the shoulders, hips, down in the ankle. Smooth flowing breath, relax your neck and jaw. This is optional, bend your right knee. Then inhale, lift that right foot up toward the sky. Now if we were really wanting to progress this, we could bring it up to a forearm, a balancing pose. This starts to take us there. Lower that right foot, bend the left knee and with an inhale, lift it. Now some of you might not go up, some might want to stay down on their knees. You go where it's right for you. Now float that left foot back down. Tricep strength, straighten the arms. Just for joy, let's do that two more times. Exhale, slowly bend, don't drop down, pause. And then up we press, pause. One more time, smooth down. Extend, look up between your hands, your thumbs. Bend your knees and walk or hop your feet there. Come to a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, look straight down. Exhale, lower, forward fold, Uttanasana. Now inhale, come all the way up, float the arms out and up as you come. Feel that shoulder mobility, lift it open, arch. With your exhale, smooth journey back to the forward fold. One more time, up and down with our breath, up. At the pace of the inhale, mountain. View from up there, don't rush down. Exhale, float down. Take the view from the peak down to the valley. Stay here, Uttanasana, forward fold. Try to relax the neck here. Kind of look back, maybe at shins. 
This neck, so protective of the head, it has a hard time relaxing. You can gently move your body side to side here. Not with speed or ligaments will at the cellular level tighten up. They have to protect the joint. Smooth flow of mobility, strength, flexibility together. Pause any movement and then as you inhale, just ragdoll roll your body up. Keep your chin tucked. Last thing to come up, look to the sky and lengthen. So we're not trying to bring the back of the head to the back. We want to lengthen up through the throat. Not just muscles, but the throat itself, the esophagus, the trachea. Helping open them. Exhale slowly, tuck your chin and hold it there. Gently pressing as if you were a nutcracker. You're trying to crack a nut there. Now twice with your breath on the inhale, slowly lift. And remember we're lengthening. We're not cranking back here. We're lifting and opening. As you exhale, smooth back down. Cervical spine, so important for the connection, the brain, the beginning of the central nervous system, the link to your toes, to everything else. Now gaze forward. Samastitihi, attention posture. So we stand here in grace. Not intention, not rigidity. Strength overused becomes rigidity and tension. Flexibility overused becomes floppiness. No integrity. This is the blend of it. And it's the base of the practice. Samastitihi, attention to life. We're going to move through the staff of Brahman. We've been doing this one every week and we'll continue. It's a base flow combination of poses for you to build at home. With your inhale, float your arms around. Feel the journey of the shoulder, the health. Hands meet each other. Then as you exhale, bend your knees, hands to heart. We're going to pause here a moment. A mild chair pose, Utkatasana. Shoulders are relaxed. We're working. We're strong. We're strong at the core. So we're not leaning here. We're lifted. Now we're going to flow with breath. On the inhalation, we slowly straighten legs, float arms up and out, palms remain up. Here we pause. With your exhale, hinge at the hips, flat back, palms down. If it strains your back, bend your knees like me. Inhale, reach forward, stretch, pause. Exhale, the release down. Tuck your chin round your spine. As you inhale, up we flow. Feel the mobility, control, your hands greet. And exhale, back to the base of the pose. With our breath, inhalation, smooth journey. Here's the peak of the inhale where we pause physical movement. Exhale, we hinge, pause. As you inhale, reach, stretch. With the exhale, down we go. And as you inhale, flow up. And exhale. We're going to go two more times. Breath guides. Minds in the back seat along for the ride. Completion of the first inhale. Pause. Exhale. Hinge. Now if you're new to this, you might be taking two breaths. That's fine. Don't rush. Don't huff and puff. We are not wanting to kick on the adrenal system. We want our energy flow to be one that rejuvenates itself doesn't need some pump up artificial lift here we go if we can do it here we will do it in all of life more we will all have healthier organs glands healthier relationships with ourself therefore with all of life Come to the squat and pause. Relax those shoulders. Inhale, stay in the squat, extend the arms. Now if you've had shoulder issues, you might come here. Or maybe hands to thighs even. Maybe keep them, Anjali Mudra. Maybe go a little ways. Remember, not an all or nothing. Now inhale, up we go. If it works for you, bring your hands together. Otherwise, you can keep them apart or bend the elbows. 
Ardhashandrasana. As you exhale, use the strength on your left side to bring your body over and open the right side. Real important to stay rooted here. So we don't just lean our weight. We're actually lifting up and open. Now use the strength of the right side. And as you inhale, bring yourself up neutral. Now exhale, we contract. We shorten the right side, strengthening those muscles, opening the left side. We pause. Now we're going to go with our breath, with your inhale. Come up to alignment. Then on the exhale, to your left we go. Pause there. With the inhale, come up. And the exhale the other way. Go one more time with your breath each way. Maybe close your eyes. Feel the flow here. Flow of grace as we work. Even when we work really hard, we flow with grace rather than tension. Exhale, float the arms down. Bring them behind you. Interlace your hands behind your fingers this time. Now feel your samastiti hi. So that's always our base. Now with an inhale, bring your shoulders forward, up, roll them back and pause there. And feel how this opens up the chest and everything internally, strengthening the musculature of the upper back between the shoulder blades, opening up the shoulder joint some. And then this interlace, there's communication going on as our fingers are touching. Let's balance as we're here. Rarely are our arms back here. Now inhale, bend the left knee. That might mean keep your toes touching or it might mean lift it like Kyle. With an inhale, bring it out to the left. Now try not to turn your body, at least not much. Try to face forward. Use the strength of the left gluteal muscles to open up the front pelvic muscles, including the adductors. Exhale, face forward, pause. Next exhale, foot floats down. Then with your inhale, shift and lift the other one. Now keep the integrity up here. Don't let the mind go lazy. It looks for shortcuts. This is a powerfully patient, persistent mind. Exhale, the right knee opens to this side. Feel how this is a combination of strength, flexibility, stability. And your breath continues to flow. Exhale, bring the knee back. Pause. Exhale, float it down. Next exhale, release the arms. Float them to the side, samastitihi. If you look at an anatomical chart, this is the anatomical position. Samastitihi, attention. Inhale, float your arms up again. Let your hands touch. As you exhale, bend the knees, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift that left knee again. This time we're in a one-legged squat. Exhale, bring the knee to the side. Now that might mean toes touch and you come out a little ways. Maybe you can go further with the toes touch. Possibly that lift. Stay in the squat. Exhale, bring the knee back around. Pause. Exhale, float. Don't just drop foot to earth. Grace of transition. Inhale, right leg lifts. Toes might touch, maybe anywhere in between. Exhale, out to the side. So strength, if we overapply it, holds us with rigidity. This is flexibility with strength. Exhale, bring the knee back. Exhale, float it down. Stay in the squat. You can take little breaks if you need. Inhale, lift the left knee. This time, exhale, hinge at the hips. Keep this knee bent. Keep the left knee bent. Pause here. Sole of your left foot's gonna be toward the sky. Hands on Jalai Mudra, elbows wide. A balancing squatting pose. Inhale, slowly come back to the squat with the knee in front. Your body is working, particularly the core. Lower that foot, pause. Inhale, lift the other. And no hurry to rush to the poses. There's so much that's transition, exhale. In the rush of world, we are forgetting about the grace of transition. How's your breath? Are you relaxed, still breathing fully? Could you talk with me? Inhale, slowly come through. Feel how you're balancing with your whole body. Ankle stabilizes. Exhale, foot down. 
Inhale, straighten those legs. Exhale, release and close your eyes. Feel your breath here. These pauses, real important in all of life. To pause into awareness again. That's where we're letting go of overthinking, overdoing, or underthinking, underdoing, where we come to our highest self, and then off we go again. With an inhale, open the eyes. Modified salutation. We're going to move with our breath. Please modify if your body tells you to. Your body will usually tell you how. Now, there's many classes here at Interconnections Yoga or other studios where you can learn the pose, the asana better. In this practice, we're not focusing on that. We want you to feel it, make it safe, go in, get the technical teachings with us here or somewhere else. Here we go. With your inhale, journey for the arms. Remember, this is life, so we're not rushing through it. You can lift up open arch if you wish. As you exhale, we float to our forward fold. Then gracefully with your inhale, you come halfway, strength. Exhale, lower to the stretch again. Now inhale, lift the right foot, extend it toward the sky. Then back to your lunge, float the arms back and up. Part of the modification on the inhale, slowly shoulders around. Then the back lifts you. Pause in this warrior lunge. You can modify it like me. Come down knee to earth we want our hip forward to open the hip flexors we're strengthening here now we're going to flow with our breath exhale shoulder movement first let the shoulders start then lower then the strength from the left leg goes to the hands plank chaturanga you can go to your knees if you want inhale slide forward arch up cobra or up dog and then exhale to downward dog and feel your lift hips up Shoulder strength, flexibility, not an either or. And you're aligned just like Kyle. Most people lift their head and don't realize it. That becomes habitual. So you're kind of looking toward your toes. Hips to the sky. We're lengthening and we're using strength to press heels toward the floor to help open up the back of the legs. Now bend the right knee. Then as you inhale, slowly lift. Get that hip mobility. Pause. Exhale, the knee to your chest, foot between your hands, lunge. Float those arms back. Pause at the peak. Don't lift with the back too early. Inhale, arms, then the lift. Much better use of strength. You have to balance, control more. Your nervous system has to work together. Warrior lunge. Here we go. Exhale, we shift forward. Fingers, earth, foot, sky, pencil, then foot to the floor. Forward, fold with your inhale. To dasana. No rush. Exhale to samasti tihi. Balance and awareness. The benefits are ours unless our minds worry. And how did I look? Was it perfect? Criticizing, let it be. With that extra benefit, strength, flexibility, mobility, and awareness, on we go with the other side. Inhale, arms. Now, as you start to Know the movements, don't rush. With your exhale, down we go. This is where patience develops. Healthy nervous system, inhale. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale the left foot this time, up balance. Keep the balance as you float to your lunge, shoulder mobility. Inhale, warrior lunge. Ease and effort together. No overuse of either. Here we flow, exhale. Hands, earth, foot back, plank, chaturanga dandasana. Inhaling, cobra or up dog. Exhaling to down dog. Traditionally, this is five breaths, so we're not rushing. Neck, jaw, brain, relax to this inversion. The more we relax, actually, the more we can use strength because we don't choke ourselves out. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, lift to the peak of hip movement. Next exhale, knee to chest, foot to lunge. Arms float back, gaze is down. 
Inhale around, then the lift. Feel the air with your fingers, the earth with your toes. Be aware of who you are. And with your highest self, on we move as we exhale. Shift, foot to sky, foot to earth, forward fold. Inhale, up we come, Tadasana. Exhale, Samastitihi. We're going to go one more time, only pausing with breath transition. Inhale, we'll pause a little longer than that in the down dog. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhaling halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, through the pencil pose, to our lunge, arms up. And then as you inhale, pause with transition. Flow with your exhale. Plank Chaturanga. As you inhale, with your exhale, down dog. We're going to pause a couple of full breaths. Make sure you get the benefit of the pose. Bend the right knee. Lift on the inhale, pause. Exhale, foot between hands. Arms float back. Inhale, lunge becomes warrior lunge. Pause. Exhale, flow. Pencil to forward fold. With your inhale, Tadasana. We're going to flow right from here. Exhale. This is where most people rush. Float. As you inhale, halfway up, strength. Exhale, flexibility, forward fold. Inhale, left foot up. Floats to our lunge. Lunge becomes a warrior lunge with the inhale. Exhale, float. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend the left knee. Lift on the inhale. Feel the mobility. Don't hurry the movement. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, warrior lunge. Exhale, float. Pencil, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana. And exhale, Samastitihi. Close your eyes here and just be here. Let go of what you've done so you have the benefits of the action. You're right here right now. With those benefits, we get to help create a greater future. The next moment, the next 20 years, the next 100 years. Open those eyes. If you set an intention, revisit it. And then let it flow. It takes patience to stand here, doesn't it? Most of us want to go, go, go. Now we will go, but we're going to go with grace, which is going to require more than just physical strength. Here we flow. Inhale, float the arms up. Lift as if you're going to touch the sky. Look up. Now exhale, look forward. Bend both knees, soften your elbows, your wrists. Then lift the right foot. Now remember, you can keep toes touching. A heron pose. Use the strength of the back to open up the chest here. We usually overdevelop here, underdevelop, cramp time. So we modify like Kyle. Now we're going to transform from one bird to the other, from a heron to a soaring eagle. As you inhale, core strength, balance, flexibility. We open up. The gaze is straight down. Balance. And we're all going to have our wobbles. I've had some major back issues. Sometimes my nervous system doesn't talk as quick. I need to keep practicing. On your inhale, back to that heron pose. Feel the strength, yet the softness of this. A lot of strength in flexibility. Inhale, up we lift. Lift the knee, lift the arms, the spirit. Exhale, float and connect to earth, yet we keep the lift. Samastitihi. Other side. Inhale, up we lift. Take the gaze up with this first. Then exhale, bend the knees both. Ankles 
or I'm sorry, wrists, fingers, shoulders relaxed. Other leg lifts on your inhale. Lift that left knee. Pause here. Feel your core strength. This is our key to balance. The ankle stabilizes us. Open mind, awareness. We don't balance with thought. Now we open up on your inhale. We balance physically from the inside out. And that gives thought room to flow so it doesn't lock up. Soaring eagle. Inhale, float back to that heron. Pause. Exhale, float the foot down, float the wings down this time. And be samastiti. We're going to work ourselves to the floor to close this practice in Shavasana. With the inhale, arms open arch if you want. Remember, it's a lifted open arch, not a collapse of the spine. Exhale, float to your forward fold. Now bend your knees, lift your heels, crown to the sky. You can use hands to thighs. Maybe bring hands to Anjali Mudra to balance here. If this doesn't work for you, come on down to a seated position. Palms toward me, then bring them around, then behind you. Tuck your chin round your spine, shift weight to feet and hands. Try not to go to hips yet. Sorry, late cue. It's going to take core strength to hold this. Then lower to your hips. Wrap one arm. Wrap the other. With an inhale, lift your spine. Lift your shoulders. Exhale, keep the lift of the spine. Press the shoulders down. Breathe there. Tuck your chin. Now press with your toes. Tilt. And possibly find the balance point where your toes lift. Now round the spine to this. So rectus abdominis. Muscular strength is holding you rather than a loaded spine. Release the hands, optional. You can keep hand shins wrapped as we were, maybe under the thighs. With an inhale, float, feet forward, possibly up. You can lift the spine, traditional Navasana, boat pose. You can round a little, load rectus abdominis. Exhale, float to earth. Lay the head back. Inhale, bring your limbs wide. Stretch, wiggle very slowly your digits, fingers, toes. Pause that wiggle. Bend the right knee. Bring the foot to center, then the left knee, and let the feet touch each other. Supta Bhattakonasana. Close the eyes if they're open. And relax to your breath. Modify if there's tension, Kyle's enjoying a cramp here. Kind of hard to enjoy a cramp. Yet there's learning. What's going on? What causes a cramp? Why do muscles contract, over contract? We don't have to know the answers. We just want to be aware and then use movement, exercise, flow, strength, flexibility to flush through this body so we get less cramps in life, particularly in that brain of ours. Reclined cobbler's pose, pose of great openness. You can see in Kyle the openness in the hips, the chest, shoulder, the big joints of the body are open. The flow of breath, maybe you expand on the inhale, gently pull in on the exhale. Now extend your legs out, forward. Let your feet just relax. Usually they'll open up and the femur bone up here will turn and it opens up that hip just by gravity. Hands can come by your side if you want or you can leave them up and open. Shavasana. Now this is the pose of wisdom. It would translate as the corpse pose. But we're lying here not dead. We're lying here aware, awake, alive. Full of life, yet so full of vitality that we can pause in grace. And we're training this mind to let go of over-attachment so it doesn't burn itself out. Our heart's doing the same thing. Revisit any intention you set at the beginning of our practice. And this is where we let it be. You can stay there as long as you want. When you're ready to rise, just gently bring yourself up. And then with the grace of this practice, 
on with the day we go. Enjoy. Give us your feedback. Have a wonderful rest of this weekend. Namaste. Namaste.